Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. In this video, we're going to be talking about JavaScript and how learning vanilla JavaScript and being actually good with it can help you out in the long term. So currently right now, I'm working on a project for a course that I have on codingphase.com called Practical JavaScript Course, where we're actually building real projects, real things that you will be building in like companies that will hire you. And at the same time, going over the fundamentals of JavaScript and knowing how things work and, and basically breaking it down like a tutor to you of like, let's say you don't know how to do this, right? Or maybe you don't understand this concepts. I'm coming in and building real projects with you and actually showing you how these things work. So like that, you know how to do it on your own. Cause a lot of times, a lot of people take courses and they still leave with that feeling of like, damn, I can't build anything on my own. So I'm trying to break that, that pattern with this course. So here's one of the projects is called, uh, the mortgage calculator, right? Uh, mortgify. Now this project here is 100% done with vanilla JavaScript. Right. We're not using jQuery. We're not using frameworks. We're not using anything other than JavaScript. And the reason why I'm doing this like this is to make people good with JavaScript. Okay. I see sometimes where there's developers that they know how to do things, but with react, they know how to do things, but with angular, but with view, right? Or whatever new telly tubby framework comes out in the future but they don't know how to do this themselves right they're holding on to this frameworks like a crutch okay i need to use this crutch to be able to build my application and then when there's a problem within the application or the application becomes bloated they don't know how to build things on their own so they're scrambling looking on github for libraries or looking on stack overflow uh recommend me a library to to do this or <laughs> i've seen somebody on a stack overflow question does anybody know a new package or a good package for removing characters from an input field and i'm thinking to my head i'm like so you've never done this <laughs> Right. And, and what I mean by that is like, let's say, for example, right, how to remove, uh, let's say the dollar sign, the comma from a price input field, right? Like this one, right? So this is the application. Just to show it to you guys real quick, everything built with vanilla JavaScript. You come in, okay, you click get results. Okay. You have some default settings in here. Uh, you could come here and change it automatically. Everything is dynamic. The charts change, uh, dynamically too. Okay. As you can see, every input that we have and we do changes also shows on, on the page right here on the side. It also does the, uh, calculations of, let's say, for example, it's a 20 year long. Okay. It's a 15 year long, right? Uh, all of those things, right? Now, if I show you the code, you're going to be like, holy shit, this is a lot of lines of code, right? There's a lot of work that we had to do uh, because we are building this with vanilla JavaScript. Okay. There is no framework. There is no nothing extra. This is us like building it from the ground up. But the reason why I'm doing this is so people could get real comfortable. So by the time you get to go to a framework like React or Angular or Vue.js, you actually know how to build things yourself, right? Because frameworks are really used for saving time, right? Saving yourself the headache of having to build all of this uh, on your own. But the thing is that if you don't know how to build it, then when you have problems or things come up, you don't know how to solve those problems. Or when there's situations where you're working at a company and they throw you, <laughs> they throw you to the deep end, right? For example, like, let's say, you know, there is no course for how to actually calculate, uh, somebody's, you know, pupils and then how to put glasses on them. So I'll give you guys a good example of this. So I'm just going to come here and search for, uh, what can we search for? 
Okay, so let's go to over here. I just searched headshot just to <laughs> uh, get a picture of somebody uh, face. But let's say you're working at a company that throw you to the deep end and they say, hey, man, uh, we would like you to create a application where the users can preview the glasses on them. So something like this, similar to this. Okay, try online, upload photo, right? Coming in here. Let's say we uploaded the photo of this person. Let's put this in like this. Find the pupil of that individual. Okay. And then from there, try on glasses. Okay. Now, uh, this application actually goes and takes the calculation of where the person's pupils are, right? And then from there, it shows you previews of how it would look on you if you was to put on this, this glasses, right? And it's also calculating uh, the size of the glasses itself. So that's how it actually goes in and, and finds, uh, you know, how it would look on a person, right? And, and what's cool about this too is that if I come in here and click on glasses, I can also see right here, try on. And you can see all the different glasses on the photo that you chose. Okay. So if they throw you to the deep end to build something like this, there is no tutorial for this. There is no, um, no course that's going to prepare you for this, right? There is no framework for this. There is no library for this. Okay. Um, this is something that you're going to have to build on your own. And this is where you get paid and you get paid very, very well to do. Okay. So for you guys that are starting this journey as developers and, and, you know, JavaScript developers and, and just getting into this world, my advice as somebody who has almost 10 years in the game, right? I will say, learn the fundamentals right? Learn the fundamentals, get very comfortable with it. This is what's going to make the difference between you and the other guy that just popped up and took a random Udemy course on React. And that's all he could do. He could go in and, you know, unchange this, or, uh, let's change the, the, the state. And that's it. That's all he could do, right? <laughs> so when they throw him to the deep end, he's scrambling, looking for a senior developer. Where's the senior developer at? <sighs> Right. But you, because you go in and, and you basically build the skills of, you know, picking up the fundamentals and, and, and building things on your own from scratch and, and being able to train your brain to to think of how to solve this type of problems. You're going to be good right now. Again, I'm making this video because I'm going through this whole project. Right. And I'm about to release it uh, to the community. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, yo, hmm, it's crazy. I haven't seen any projects like this at this level, right? Uh, from guys, I buy everybody's courses, by the way. I buy everybody's courses to literally see what's out there, see what's the competition, how I can improve in other uh, the courses compared to other people. So I take everybody's courses, right? I go in there, I don't take them, but I skim through it. Um, but you know, nobody's really doing this type of projects, the type of projects that we have in the, in this practical course, uh, because most people, they want to come in and give you the easy stuff, but there's a lot of things in here that once you have this knowledge and, and you learn about it, it's like, it's always going to be with you. Like the stuff that I'm building on this, this course here, right? It's the exact same thing that, you know, I had to do to build this type of application. Okay. And because I learned this on my first year, for those of you guys that don't know, uh, I basically started in 2011 and from 2011 to 2012, all I did was just pure JavaScript. I wasn't trying to do anything else. It was just pure JavaScript to get really good with JavaScript. I mean, <laughs> sounds crazy now, but I remember going in and, and, and doing this, like this, how newbie I was, this, how, how much of a noob <laughs> I remember coming in and just say document, right. And coming in and be like, okay, let's open this up. Right. We got the document, right. 
and I can say, okay, cool, this is nice. And then I will do like this window, and then from there, go in and, and be like, okay, cool, let's see what's inside of the window. Okay, look at, <laughs> at everything that's in there. And I remember I will try to remember a lot of the stuff that we see in here, right? Like on cancel, on can play, uh, on close, right? Which sounds extremely dumb, right? <laughs> I guess it's like a lot of stuff that you're probably never going to use. But because I went in there and I was like, you know what? I want to learn as much as I can about JavaScript. And I want to try to remember all of these things. I mean, that's the wrong approach to do this. It's learning about concepts. But this is how dedicated I was to learn the fundamentals of JavaScript. And I remember going in through all of this. And all of the things that I'm using in this project is stuff that I learned from you know, going deeper into JavaScript and learning more about the fundamentals. And even when I started learning uh, frameworks like YUI, uh, Backbone, Angular, um, what was popping back then, jQuery, right? You know, when I was still working with those type of frameworks back then, I was like, you know what, man? I like these frameworks, but I'm actually good using a framework because... I'm really good with vanilla JavaScript, right? I mean, I'm not ex uh, expert. I'm not going to come here and, and say, guys, I'm a 10. I don't do that. <laughs> I don't go in and my portfolio never said tens, 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 tens of, of JavaScript, tens of uh, uh, PHP, tens of... Uh, <laughs> I hate when I see that in a portfolio. Somebody comes in and be like, yo, <laughs> all tens. I'm a 10 on everything. <laughs> Nah, I'm just a regular dude. I'm probably a, a solid eight, right? <laughs> but at the end of the day, like, yo, we did this, right? And um, what I'm saying with this is, guys, like, learning the fundamentals is is essential, right? Um, you have to do this, man. You have to be comfortable with JavaScript and even any language that you learn. Like, learn the standard library. Learn what it already provides to you go with the basics okay go with the basics and learn the basics so you can actually be good once it comes to you an opportunity and they tell you hey man you're gonna have to build something advanced okay there's times that you look at projects that's online you'll be like man how did they do this and then when you go into the code base you start noticing a lot of times they didn't even use a framework they had to build it from the ground up now, for you to be able to be that good, right, you're going to have to go and practice. And you're going to have to go in and put in that time. You're going to have to put in that work, okay? And there's nothing wrong with taking your time with it, right? Learning something like JavaScript is going to take, you know, years, right? I could say my first year, with a whole year of me studying JavaScript, I was a solid three, a solid four, right? Because I was just scratching the surface of it. Okay, JavaScript, you could go deep. There's so many things that you can do and so many different ways of achieving the exact same thing, right? Uh, but every single way has uh, is reasoning on why you should do it that way or why you should do it the other way, okay? So to be really good with JavaScript is going to take years, okay? That's just the truth, okay? But to be comfortable and be, you know, an asset to the team, you could do that in a few months, but you have to put in the work and you have to go in and and focus on not trying to get things so quickly. Right. Like even if like, let's say, for example, you're taking a course. Right. And you're following along with the course and you're like, oh, I just want to build something quick. OK, cool. You could build something. But now you follow the instructor. He showed you all the code. He gave you a perfect code. Go in there. Break it. Go in there, try to find different ways. It's like, how can we find a way to break this thing? How can we try to do different things that might break the application, right? Like go into the code, change things around, change the colors, change the way of the order of the code, change the way of like, maybe you're doing a for loop, try to do a for each, try to do, um, you know, for of, like for in, try to get in there, right? Switch it up, do a while loop. <laughs> right like break it break it that's how i learned i learned by breaking things you know there's times that i go to websites and what i do is i just save the whole website 
Save the whole website and then go line by line on the JavaScript file, right? There's times that I'm looking at websites that do animations. I'm like, damn, how did they do this? And I just sit down and start looking at every single line and, and connect. Okay, this function was here. It was used here. What did they declare? Okay, go all the way to the bottom. They declare down here. Okay, see how this thing worked. Okay, come back up. Like, take your time with it. It's going to take time to really be good with JavaScript, but it starts with the fundamentals. Okay, I know in the last few days, that's been my theme. And it's because as I'm building this thing, I'm realizing, I'm like, holy shit, I wish I would have had somebody like myself breaking down a lot of the things that I'm seeing, how I'm basically breaking it down for other people. Because I'm like, yo, this could have saved me time. This could have, you know, helped me out so much in this situation, right? Um, I wouldn't have to be on Stack Overflow. I wouldn't have to go to a forum and ask questions when I could have figured it out myself, okay? So that's why this is the the theme of this week the fundamentals man okay so anyways man if you enjoy this type of videos this is just a quick conversation uh i'm gonna be here guys for a while so definitely holla at me uh but <laughs> okay if you like this conversations that we have here subscribe to the channel uh like the videos okay visit codingface.com show me some love you know you don't gotta send me a super chat you don't gotta uh, send me a donation. You don't got to send me nothing. Let me work for you. Let me provide you my service. Let me make sure that you get to learn everything that you need and that everything works exactly how it's supposed to for you. Okay. So definitely go check out codingface.com. But anyways, man, again, guys, if you guys want to check out also to my other channel, the Billy Ray channel, go check it out. You can go to YouTube. Okay. Go to Billy Ray dev just like that and there you go that's another channel that i have where i'm dropping a lot of content so definitely go subscribe okay guys i'm gonna stop right here i'll see you guys later bye